Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again for another car vlog. That's just been my Veda this year. Um, I am on my way back to work. Uh, I came home. I had, I'm usually able to come home a lot earlier, but I had like an hour break in between two of my choirs that are going to uh, competition. So I decided to come back and change clothes because I'm not conducting any more groups. But <clears throat> my choir that I conduct, um, they did pretty well on stage. Um, as far as um, the scores go for their competitions, uh, they have three judges and well actually six judges I don't know but three judges judge what they do when they're singing on stage <clears throat> and another three judges judge what they do while singing um, doing their sight reading and uh, for the stuff on stage that's what I did with these guys so in class for the past about mm, six weeks a few months actually it's been a couple of months um, I've been working with them on the music they're going to perform on stage and my cooperating teacher has been working with them on their sight reading. <clears throat> so, we go in today, all three of the judges for their um, concert part, all three of the judges gave them straight ones. And ones, that is the highest you can get. One is superior. Two is excellent, three is good, four is needs improvement, and five is like, oof, what you doing? Um, and they got straight ones on stage. And um, for the sight reading part, they got two, two, one. So it's a huge improvement from what they were before. I mean, this is my first year at the school, but years before, and I think last year, they got like threes and fours in sight reading and straight threes on stage. So they have improved like tenfold. And I couldn't be a prouder papa. So I'm so happy for those boys. And they were all saying thank you to me. I'm like, no, thank you guys. Because, I mean, it takes them to come in and listen. And I mean, it's just really cool to see kids, middle school kids, doing well with classical music and, you know, getting that little bit of extra culture and everything and going and um, making accomplishments, you know, because this music isn't exactly cool or whatever they would, you know, like to sing and whatever, but at the same time, it takes a certain level of dedication and commitment and discipline to be able to go out and do something with music that you don't particularly like. So it was just, I, I'm so proud of them. And that's really all I can say. They did so well. And I think that, you know, it, it's, it's setting these guys up and showing them like, hey, you can do this but you just need to work with us and see, you know, do what we're asking you to do and you'll continue to get better. Work with us as a team and it'll get better. So, and you know, there's been plenty of times this year where I've been kind of down on myself. Like, you know, I don't know, am I teaching them right? Am, am I reaching them? Are they learning? I felt like a complete failure from time to time. And having these boys get this accomplishment is just, it just makes me so happy. Like I said, to know where they came from, where they would barely sit down and behave in class, to be able to go out on stage and sing for judges and do spectacular. And then go out and do sight reading and music. And the sight reading isn't easy. I mean, starting off in the beginning of the year, these kids could not read music for the most part. They knew the basics, the foundation if even that and just watching them mature and see how much they've grown and how much they've learned has just been so amazing to me and for them to get 221 on um, sight reading that's such a huge accomplishment it's huge huge and 
like I was saying about it, it's a it's a kind of difficult process like how it goes is you go into the sight reading room you cannot talk and you cannot look at the music the judges talk about the music a little bit you put it back to your side and the teacher tells you to open your music a timer starts you have exactly six minutes to study over it in that six minutes the students cannot sing the teacher cannot sing you have to look at the music hear it in your head and go through it so what we usually do is chant through and then we'll what we call audiate which is hearing it pretty much singing a song in your head that's what audiate means so they chant and they audiate and then after that the time's called they sing through it once and then after they sing through um, they get two more minutes to go over anything that they feel that they need to fix as the teacher goes and tells them like hey do this do this do this fix this fix that and then you sing it again that's your score it's intense it's very intense and for them to have the, the discipline to do that from where they were at the beginning of this year it's like whoa you guys have grown you, you've really grown up when it comes to that are they perfect no they still make me angry yeah but they're middle school boys and they're gonna be kind of crazy but I just I can't be any more proud than I am right now I could stop teaching right now today and have my summer vacation and I have done my job that's how I feel right now so um, I know people have been asking me if I want to try to get like a head position because I'm, I'm an assistant right now I really don't not not yet it depends on the things that would open up while you know I, I would love to move on and get my own head position I don't want to leave these boys yet because we've grown together not not just them growing we have grown together I've grown as a director and they have grown as students and I want to stick with them for a bit I really do so it would have to be a dang good offer or school district or something for me to leave because I really want to stick with them and actually get a trophy so that's what I don't, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, I just wanted to share that success with you all. And uh, that'll be my beta for the day. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later.